morning everyone. Uh, today we have, uh, we are in the Easter season and it's Wednesday 22nd of April 2020. And I'd like to invite you to join me uh, in morning prayer. And today, uh, surprise, I'd like to take all of you to pray together in the mountains of North Wales, uh, namely, I want to invite you to pray with me in Snowdonia. So let us pray. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransom your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land, so now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty act. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God, Father. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast. Not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the, fruit, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a godly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me, he is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad, 
and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure, for you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life, in your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand the pleasures for evermore. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Give to us, Lord Christ, the fullness of grace, your presence and your very self, for you are our portion and our delight, now and forever. Amen. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have raised me up and have not let my foes triumph over me. O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you have healed me. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored me to life from among those that go down to the pit. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks to his holy name, for his wrath endures but the twink, twink, twinkling of the eye, his favor for a lifetime, heaviness may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. In my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. You, Lord of your goodness, have made my heel so strong. Then you hid your face from me, and I was utterly dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried. To the Lord I made my supplication. What profits is there in my blood if I go down to the pit? With the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness. Hear, O Lord, and, uh, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and girded me with gladness. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. Lord, you hide your face when we trust in ourselves. Strip us of false security and reclothe us in your praise, that we may know you as the one who raises us from death, as you raise your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, I have heard the complaining of the Israelites. Say to them, at twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall have your fill of bread. Then you shall know that I am the Lord your God. In the evening quails came up and covered the camp and in the morning there was a layer of dew around the camp. When the layer of dew lifted, there on the surface of the wilderness was a fine flaky substance, as fine as frost on the ground. When the Israelites saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. Moses said to them, It is the bread that the Lord has given you to eat. This is what the Lord has commanded. Gather as much of it as each of you needs, and omer to a person according to the number of persons, all providing for those in their own tents. The Israelites did so, some gathering more, some less. But when they measured it with one Omer, those who gather much had nothing over, and those who gather little had no shortage. They gathered as much 
as each of them needed. And Moses said to them, Let no one leave any of it over until morning. But they did not listen to Moses. Some left part of it until morning, and it bred worms and became full. And Moses was angry with them. Morning by morning they gathered as much as each needed, but when the sun grew hot, it melted. In your unfailing love, O oh Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. I will sing to the Lord who has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has, he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. This is my God whom I will praise, the God of my forebears whom I will exalt. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. At the blast of your nostrils, the sea covered them. They sang as lead in the mighty waters. In your unfailing love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. And by your invincible strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. You will bring them in and plant them, O Lord, in the sanctuary which your hands have established. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. In your unfading love, O Lord, you lead the people whom you have redeemed. Alleluia. And today we especially pray for people who suffer from coronavirus, from the illness caused by the deadly virus, for those who are dying and for the families of those who already died. We embrace all those people in our prayer, in our love. And we especially pray also for all the medical staff in all hospitals around the world, for nurses, for doctors, for cleaners, for chaplains, for all people who care for those affected by coronavirus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Now rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.